We are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. Americans, mobilize. Stand together, stand tall. Tell the government you're mad as hell. No longer cooperate with the government. Do not accept the national ID card. Do everything in your power to restore freedom and your individuality back to America. Stop being a country run by the institutions for the institutions. Let's go back to we the people, by the people, for the people, as opposed to we the institution, by the institution, for the institution. Stop being scared. We have to stand up and do what's necessary to take back, to stop these bankers, these elite, this government full of lies, congressmen full of liars. As Iraq veterans against the war, we are resisting an occupation we once risked our lives for. We swore to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America, but we found out the hard way that the greatest enemies of the Constitution are not to be found in the sands of some far off land, but rather right here at home. When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. It is time we start meeting oppression with resistance. They cannot stop us. Humanity marches on. The utmost manifestation of love and devotion to America is today, as it always has been, resistance of tyranny. Resist we must and resist we will. We will not be silent. We will not obey. We will not let our government destroy our humanity. We will not wait another moment in fear to stand up for what we know to be right. It is time we start meeting oppression with resistance. Northwoods explained that really quick. I mean, this is 1962, the Joint Chiefs of Staff signed a document that was planning on um, having fake attacks on American civilians and blaming it on the Cubans to get us to go to war with Cuba. Oh, they were going to bl blow up a drone jetliner. They're going to send a jet into the air and blow it up. Oh and my God. And blame the Cubans for it and get us to go to war with Cuba. On American civilian, American civilian. The time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part, you can't even passively take part, and you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop, and you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. I served with Kilo Company 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines, as an automatic machine gunner. There's a term, uh, once a Marine, always a Marine, but there's also the term, eat the apple, F the core. I don't work for you no more. And I'm a Marine, I took an oath to defend the Constitution. The Constitution! I didn't take an oath to defend these banksters. And I guarantee you, all you devil dogs out there need to rise up and, and take over this country and defend the Constitution against these bones. Okay, I'm sick of it too, Alex. You know, I'm a, I'm a Marine, but I'm, I'm sick of this. You know, they're using us and they're sucking us dry and they are destroying us. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes.